Today's topic is gestational trophoblastic disease. So the vesicles which you are seeing here on the screen, these are the degenerated cyst-like spaces in the chorionic villa which are filled with fluid. So these are also called as the grape-like vesicles and they are very, very characteristics of the gestational trophoblastic disease. Now definition of gestational trophoblastic disease is a spectrum of proliferative abnormalities of the trophoblast associated with pregnancy and it can range from a benign to a highly malignant and a invasive condition. Now this is how it looks like. This is a fluid filled cavity and it is a histological section of a complete hydratiform mole. It is stained with hematoxylene and eosine. So villi, villi is a tertiary stem villi from the trophoblast and the chorionic stem villi and these large villous spaces in the center exhibit mark edema with a fluid filled central cavity with marked proliferation here of trophoblastic cells. So here we can see that there are trophoblastic cells. The syncytial trophoblast stain purple while the cytotrophoblast have got a clear cytoplasm and a bizarre nucleus. In these uh, tertiary stemvilli which have undergone degeneration there are no fetal blood vessels. Now, there can be a benign and a malignant variety of gestational trophoblastic disease. The benign variety is called as hydratiform mole. It can be of two types, complete or partial type. Among the malignant gestational trophoblastic disease, we can classify them as non-metastatic and metastatic. Metastatic malignant GTD is called as choriocarcinoma and non-metastatic malignant GTD can be three entities that is invasive mole or persistent GTD or persistent mole, placental site trophoblastic tumor or the third variety is a local choriocarcinoma. Now uh, gestational trophoblastic disease, the benign form is partial hydratiform mole, complete hydratiform mole. The malignant form includes the uh, metastatic one and the non-metastatic one. The metastatic one is called as a choriocarcinoma and the non-metastatic ones are the placental site trophoblastic tumor and the epithelioid trophoblastic tumor. So what are these? We will discuss in subsequent slides. So this is how it looks like. These vesicles are, can be seen by naked eye and they look like uh, grape-like. So, so they are also characteristically called as the grape-like vesicles and they are clusters and they have got very thin pedicles. And this is also called as a current jelly color. And the proliferative and degenerative changes in the chorionic villa are very characteristic with there is swelling of the villa stroma and proliferation of trophoblast and no fetal blood vessels are seen in these uh, tertiary stem villa which have undergone degeneration. Now complete hydratiform moles have edematous or the swollen placenta villa, hyperplastic trophoblast and there are no fetal vessels. Whereas in an incomplete or partial hydratiform mole there is scalloping. Scalloping means sudden dilatation after a narrow part and trophoblastic inclusions occur within the villa and the fetal blood vessels are present. So the main difference between complete and incomplete is the presence of fetal blood vessels in the tertiary step villa. In a hydropic degeneration of normal pregnancy edema of villa is present but no trophoblastic hyperplasia and sometimes there can be ghost or empty villa. Now, if you were to uh, do P57 for staining, immunohistochemistry staining for this molecular marker, so if it, it can help us to differentiate between a complete mole and a hydropic degeneration. So, P57 is a paternally imprinted gene that is only expressed in maternal chromosomes. Whereas what happens is the complete mole, all the chromosomes or, or the entire genetic material is formed from the fusion of two spermatozoas. So the nuclei of villus, stroma and cytotrophoblast of complete mole will not contain P57 which is of maternal origin. Whereas partial mole and hydropic degeneration may stain for P57 and because they contain maternal chromosomes also. So a complete mole is entirely paternal genetically whereas a, com whereas a partial mole does contain some maternal chromosomes as well. Now coming to the invasive mole. Invasive mole is just like the hydratiform mole but the uh, it even crosses beyond the endometrium. It grows into the myometrium and myometrium can also show presence of hemorrhage and necrosis. Necrosis is presence of dead cells. 
although the chorea carcinoma has no chorionic villi it has sheets of trophoblast hemorrhage and necrosis so these are the metastatic implants metastatic implants may not have chorionic villi but they may have trophoblast and hemorrhagic and necrosed areas in placental site trophoblastic tumor intermediate trophoblast can be found within the myometrial fibers in epithelioid trophoblastic tumor there are cords of monomorphic epithelioid cells so these are all the histological variants of a non metastatic choreocarcinoma 